Hello from the void. This is brand new and I'm absolutely not expecting anyone aside from me is ever going to see or hear this, but um, welcome. I started really well by kicking my headset out of my computer, which is chic and a very good look. Um, but hopefully things can only go uphill from here, although I'm still trying to work out where to position the microphone so it's just not just loud mouth breathing the entire time. Right, low game. So I'm going to attempt, inspired by Claire Siobhan, Little Simsy, and many others, um, a little not so berry challenge save. And first things first, I'm going to find the Simsy save, which I have not previously used, but I got a bit sick of the ugliest sin community lot, so I figured I'd give it a go. Um, and I'm planning to start with my mint generation, which is the first generation of the Not So Berry Challenge in Strangerville, because the generational goals for this for this level are I couldn't remember the rules, had to go check. So it's a berry inspired challenge, meant to be played vanilla really, so colourful hair, eyes and sort of surroundings and clothing, but not necessarily crazy coloured skin, uh, which is a step back from what I normally do, which is full berry. Okay, in generation one, it's mint. I'm a mischievous scientist who really loves the colour mint, career driven, but still make time for silly pranks, outings with my closest friends, love luxury, and want the best for yourself and your family. That's a bit weird, like given that a lot of pranking seems to be like sabotaging loose if you've got a really fancy one, but I don't make the rules. Um traits, veggie, jealous, materialistic, career, um, or aspiration, chief of mischief and the scientist career. And so I've got to master that aspiration and that career, master the mischief and logic skills and complete the elements collection. And I'm pretty sure, um, and what really attracted me to this challenge is that aside from doing the logic skill, I don't think I've ever done any of these things before. Wee. So I'm just going to pull out of my library, this little Sim, who is uh, the one I'm gonna be playing with. Um, we're gonna replace the current Sim. So the first generation is the mint generation. Um, so I have decided to call my family the Spectra family um, because obviously the spectrum mm. is all of the colours. So I thought that was kind of cute. And then this is Floor because she is green and flowers are, well, mostly not green. Some of them are, but broadly not green. Um, and she is going to be my founder. So I have already um, pretty much put together her appearance because um, I'm pretty slow in Create a Sim, not having the pattern matching and just like changing anything to whatever colour I want is um, challenging for me as someone who's more used to playing in Sims 3. Um, so yes, um, so her traits are jealous, uh, vegetarian and materialistic. Uh, she has the Master of Mischief application. I'm just going to give her some likes and dislikes really quick because that's the new feature that we can have. So obviously she likes green. Um, I'm going to try and make her date uh, her babies with a red sim because that is the second generation is rose um, so i'm just gonna give her those for now i'm not gonna give her any dislikes um music uh focus music she's gonna be a scientist and she hates pipe organ music where's the pipe organ music because nobody likes pipe actually i kind of do in an ironic sense at halloween okay it's not an option spooky somewhere uh, whatever, we can just deal with that. Uh, activity, she's gonna like rocket science because she's gonna do that. Um, <laughs> I hate the there. pipe organ, there we go. I knew it was in there somewhere. So those are her likes and dislikes. Um, and yeah, so I think she's kind of cute. She's got little sort of hints of green makeup, but not nothing too excessive. I really like these new eyebrows I've got. I don't use loads of CC, but Okay, I use quite a bit, mostly facial details and stuff because one of my big issues early on with Sims 4 was how everyone bloody looked the same, like you didn't have the same range of sliders and it was just tough. I'm going to give her a little bit more booty. I like my Sims to have a bit of juice on their bones because I do. So that's, uh, I have got some extra body sliders in as well. Let's give her some curvy, curvy calves because I mean, I do. Okay, so this is her. Um, for now, she's just got a little sort of summary. We're going to start in spring, so summary outfit. But we'll probably give her a wintry, everyday look as well. Um, formal look. There was not a lot of choice in mint. I probably do need to download some stuff. So she's got for this one. Uh, this is her athletic wear. 
she has got a uh, cute little PJ. Nice. Um, her party look is, I mean, this is what I wanted to put her in for formal. For some reason, this dress was not available because apparently it's not formal enough. Um, we have got kind of not really mint, but cute swimwear. Um, this is her hot weather outfit and her cold weather outfit. I love this jacket. To be fair, all the snowy escape outfits are absolutely adorable. And that is everything she gets. So now we're going to go move her into the lot that we cleared for her. Yet another disclaimer. Um, <laughs> my building skills are slow AF, so I'm probably not going to talk a bunch during those sections. I will probably um, either <laughs> stop recording, build and get on, um, and then do a little bit of narration afterwards, or maybe I will. Oh, we've got some nice little terrain for you to pass. That's chic. Um, but obviously we also don't really have very much money at this point. We've got £14,500 and I'm not going to cheat her any more money than that. And walls being insanely expensive in The Sims. I mean, walls probably are insanely expensive in real life, but I mean, I don't know. I've never built one. Maybe that's what I should do now. I'm unemployed instead of building Sim stuff, but nah. I mean, let's just be realistic. I'm going to stay at home and then get another job eventually. Um... Weirdly, my periods of like sim playing tend to line up with like coming to the end of a career path, which is interesting, I guess. Correlation there. So I should schedule my next breakdown for whenever The Sims 5 eventually drops. Well, a few years after it, when they've sorted out whatever fuckery EA decide to play. All right. Um, so let's start off with just. I mean, I am assuming we are. No, yeah, I mean. At this stage, whatever I do build, which is almost certainly going to be hideous anyway, um, is almost certainly going to just be a box. Um, but hey, let's try and make it a relatively cute box. So I think let's do this and then the whole building rooms and just being able to grab them thing is still wild to me um, because it wasn't a thing I just had to like build walls from the ground up I don't really want the whole thing maybe I do all right let us do the essential thing so I'm gonna try and keep the um, colors pretty on brand for for the challenge for the not so very challenge um, but I will also use like neutrals and black and white because otherwise it's just going to be, I mean, brutal, frankly. I mean, who, no one needs that much green in their life. Let's put the walls up. Okay, we don't have much money, so we're going to keep it. That's such a cute door. Oh, that's from the new pack. That's why I haven't seen it before. We're going to need a bathroom door. Let's just put in whatever is the cheapest because at this point, having a house is a bonus quite often i force my sims to start out in horrifying like tents or whatnot but i've decided to be nice to little floor so i mean i wouldn't okay these ones are mint also eye poppingly hideous but meh i mean that looks garbage right yep endlessly just pressing the r tool to try and design which obviously is not something that works anymore all right let's see window is probably going to be useful otherwise it's going to be a dark and depressing life for our poor little babes all right let's put that green filter of doom back on now i'm obsessed with giant windows which is never good for my budget but let's be realistic it's nice nice for living all right, gotta remember this is a bathroom, so realistically we probably don't want a shit ton of windows. So um, one of my absolute favorite simmers who has been around, I was gonna say since the dawn of time, but that makes her sound really ancient, but she just isn't. Um, my good friend, um, who I have sort of kept up with via Instagram for all the interim years um, is, she used to be called Morgie Brit, and I think she's now called frolicking pixels or pirouetting plumbogs plumbogs plumbobs frolicking gnomes that's her current um youtube handle um and she is 
um, brilliant at doing just recolours. I mean, she's brilliant at many things. But specifically, um, she does a lot of berry recolours for her own gameplay, which she's then generous, gener generous enough to save with the rest of us. Share with the rest of us. Um, so that we can have some not completely heinous... I mean, there's a lot of shades of green going on, but you know what? I don't hate it. I'm just going to deal with it. Um, not hideous options for our berry gameplay, which is very nice of her because having attempt to learn how to recolor for Sims 4, it's just long and fiddly and yeah, I mean Sims 3, I know it's old now and people, you know, like a lot of the, you know, I, I can now admit that there are some good features in the Sims 4, but I think I will forever just be a Sims 3 apologist because it just had so much freedom to just change appearances, which was just very, very fun. Um, so, yes, very grateful to people like Morgan who spend their time making things for people who, like me, are lazy and can't be bothered, but still want to make things match. Bloody green fantasy in it. I think actually this might look worse than if it was green. Maybe if we made it a true white, that would be better. Get away, masonry. Pure white? Yeah, I think that's... Is that the same colour? That's yellow. Okay, where's, like, white, white? Anywhere? New? No. I'll see. I'm bent smooth this. Uh, and these are in Noodle's Sorbet palette. Alright, I mean, I don't love it, but it's fine. Uh, let's... We might be able to make it a bit bigger, but to start with, I think we're going to put some furniture in. Have we got any less weird? I don't really like the shingles to be... Mm. Oh well, that's a lot, but hey, let's go for it. Stairs. Stairs are probably a good... Because otherwise, ain't nobody going to be able to get in this house. Which would be unfortunate. That's a fun thing for a door to do. Let's give some little railings. I do just love this stuff from the new pack, it's dead cute. Alright, let's do a cutaway, I think, is what we want for now, and we are probably going to go for... I think if we do a green flooring, then that'll be... I mean, aggressive, but kind of cute, and then... I'm not worrying too much about like having it specifically be mint toned because I mean monotone is boring number one and number two um my eyes will hurt and number three I just don't want to and the challenge doesn't say I have to so not gonna right um one thing I really do still find frustrating about The Sims 4 is that you can't um, the lighting is just, I mean, there's probably a mod I could get to fix it, but the lighting is just low. And then the more lights you put in, A, the dumber it looks, but also, more importantly, it affects your bills. So, I'm just trying to find lighting options that are not hideous, not enormous, and, although I did recently learn that you can resize things, which, that was fun. Um, it's blast. Right, so we want some ceiling lights, I think. Let's start with the bathroom, because that's often surprisingly expensive. Uh, let's do a room. Right, we're going to be optimistic and start out thinking that we can afford a bath-shower combo, which we're probably going to have to backtrack on at some point. I mean, I hate this one, but it's the right colour and it fits. I think we're going to have to put it here so we can also fit a toilet. I don't think at this point she's going to get the luxury of having a sink because um, there's no space for it in this room and she'll have one in the kitchen instead and that'll do just fine I think we won't put any accents in for just now so I'm thinking like at the moment she doesn't really have much of a personal style but um, she will over time um, once she has a bit more money, because part of her personality is that she's supposed to be this, like, you know, that she likes luxury. Okay, that's not going to work. They're not going to be able to get around that, are they? So we're going to have to make this at least one tile figure. 
which is fine. And then maybe, I mean, sort it. We've got a little bit of money left, so let's not make her bed absolutely tiny. I could have given her a single bed, but we're not we're not doing like such a poverty-stricken start this time as sometimes we do. Anyway, so I think we're just going to start out with things being like quite basic and. So Floor doesn't really have a backstory yet. I'm hoping that we're going to get some hints from her personality as to like what kind of sim she wants to be. Um, and, you know, then we can build it from there and hopefully her personal style will sort of come out. So at the moment, I'm kind of just doing like cute basics with a few things that I personally would use or just that I'm excited to see because new packs are in existence. So we're going to use some of the country. Are we going to use the country kitchen stuff? No, because it's really expensive. So I think we're going to start out with just this basic counter. Um, and we're going to put the cooker there. I have a sink and a fridge. All right, that'll do. Fridge. I'm going to try again not to get her the cheapest, grimmest fridge because we've got a bit of money and She's not going to have a lot of time to cook, like it's not one of the skills I'm going to be focusing on with her, but if she could not get depressed every time she eats, that would be ideal. Um, oh no, I can't, I can't quite bring myself to do that. Maybe we'll go for this like dark throwback though, that's kind of cute. I mean, matches the floor, which is not a normal thing that you would do with your oven, but it's The Sims, they don't care. I mean. We've done actually a pretty good job, we've got quite a lot of money left, so we can make this like actually a bit nicer. Wild and crazy, alright. I'm gonna come back to you. Alright, so welcome to the finished product. I've still got a couple of thousand left, but I think I'm going to actually um, use a cheat to reduce my funds to like 500 um, and just buy some like logic books and stuff for her because I think she's going to need them for her career. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the um, lot that we're going to start out with. Um, so I renamed it Verdigree, which um, I should probably show what it means, but I think it has something to do with green. We'll check. Anyway, so um, yes, so I actually have just given it a little bit of outdoor landscaping so it looks a bit less like a blob on the ground. And then I've just put this one rose bush which really doesn't belong with the rest of the planting, but just because like a little hint towards the rose generation I thought was kind of cute. So maybe that's one of the reasons she decided to live here. She was like, well, I'm going to have to live in a generic box, so I might as well live in one that has like my favourite flower, the rose. Um, even though it doesn't go with anything else in my life. It's still essentially an ugly box, but we will work on it. We've got some recycling bins. Like again, Eco isn't like important to this generation, but I figured like she's green, so therefore it kind of makes sense that she'd want to be like relatively eco-friendly. I think we're gonna have two walls down. Oh, not all the way down, Jesus. So what I have done here is I extended the kitchen out a little bit. She's just got a little uh, study space. I think we're gonna need to buy her a laptop. I don't actually wanna start with her having one because that just feels a bit easy. And I gave her just like a little lounge chair in the corner um, to start out with, a little bit of soft furnishing to make it better. Bedroom, I gave her a plant because, you know, everyone loves a plant. And I'm trying to bring a few like hints of other colors. So like some pink and orange just to offset the mint a little bit. Um, I'm loving some of the cluster that came with the Dream Home decorations pack because um, we just didn't have enough and I moved the door around I gave her a sink and I also did add a sink to the kitchen haven't been like she's definitely gonna have a sink I then didn't give her any and so I had to go back and put those in so that is the lot it's only little but I think it's kind of cute um, and it will do as a starting lot as I said I do like to have people work their way up so I think I'm gonna stop that there um, and just have this one be like an intro and then actually start the challenge in a separate little video all right this is the lot and sim to start off my not so berry challenge. I think they are both cute and basic, which is kind of where you want to start off. And obviously we will work on them, uh, hopefully together. If you are here and want to say hello, drop in it in the comments. Uh, you can subscribe, you can do all of the normal YouTube things. I have no idea what I'm doing, so don't expect too much, but there we go. Say goodbye, Floor.